OK. Um, you can't read what? I can't read it from OK. I'll make sure I say it out loud before the bell. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do, this is what we've been practicing all class period, right? Basically, going from here all the way down here. So now there's a couple problems that what we're going to do is now I'm giving you the zeros. Or what we do is we write this as a solution set, negative 9 or negative 3 and 9, right? So now all you guys are going to do is I'm giving you the solution set. I'm giving you the zeros. I want you to write the polynomial. So you're literally just going to work your way backwards. So if these are my zeros, the next step is to set them all equal to x. So you do x equals negative 7, x equals negative 6, x equals negative 5. Then you go back up. So instead of step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, now it's here's step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4. So now, once you have them set equal to x, you set them equal to 0. So you add 7 to both sides. Add 6 to both sides. Add 5 to both sides. And I'm going to run out of time. But I'll finish. I'll do this halfway. Then, since they're all equal to zero, since they're each factor is equal to zero, that means you can multiply them all equal to zero. So therefore, zero equals x plus seven times x plus six times x plus five. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're not trying to set it equal to zero. We're trying to set it equal to its function or its equation. Now, do you guys have the tools to multiply trinomial times trinomial, binomial times binomial times binomial? Give it a shot. Please remind me next class period to show you that solution. Okay, so make sure that you did your math correct. All right, but that's basically what you guys do to find the final answer. Okay.